Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. As you know, one of our premium services is that when somebody become a premium member and they want to know exactly what they should be taking in our platform, we have this service, we make a video for them. If we already have created a video, we may share that for some people, but sometimes we just make a new brand new video because it's a different request. So in this case, we have a member who just became a premium member. Now, again, if somebody's watching this and they are free members, yes, you can use these suggestions and tips in a different platform as well. If you have free access to some different type of education, so you can just use these tips and this cover the things that I'm covering in our platform. So here we have a request from this member that he just applied to level one positions and third level positions and then he needed some guidance in this. Um, and this is kind of like the story. I have done this on my CV. I have a few months working at disaster recovery company as an IT workplace assistant. Now this was a few months ago and although I am more confident uh, than I was before, I worked there. I have forgotten most of my skills. Uh, I picked up and still feel uh, inadequate to go for these new job prospects. Although your videos are great and helpful, I, uh, I am someone who learned best through practical application. So this is the reason. The reason was to become more practical. So he became a premium member. Now, if people don't know, that's where we give our full library access to practice labs. Now, the reason we're a little different than other people that, you know, some platforms use practice labs as a modular access. We use it for a full library access. So because we're skills based platform. So when we provide services like what we are doing right now in this video, it makes more sense that I can pick and choose labs rather than telling a person to do a full course or go to this module inside the course. It's just a little too tedious for us to do that. So here's a request. So below are the requirements or some of the job descriptions. And this is this person's basically mindset that I'm just going to learn uh, these things to, to get better. Now, that's where we need to start. The first thing is to understand uh, the to create understanding between us as a trainer and as a person who needs an advice every job description that you're going to pick is going to have something different so there's absolutely no way any trainer can cover any advice and that will cover everything that you will see in the job description and there's absolutely no way we'll make a video on each description because we tell people that this is something you need to learn from a little bit more uh you know like a flow or you need to create a little bit of uh you know proper way of learning to understand some of the skills in just one or two courses rather than going by description by description and then doing learning that way is also not a good way to learn any skills in it so this way in my question when in which the, which practical lab should i be taking so then i can get my confidence there are so many that i can you know that i can pick from okay so so basically this person have a lot of access so the first thing we need to understand is that what kind of access is he talking about and what is he basically telling telling us that okay i have this many labs what do i do now you know this is this is what i have for one year and that is a total valid question that's why we provide this service the first thing you need to understand is that this is not only it you can actually click on the show retired labs and this list this becomes huge right here but for this video sake and for you to start something uh, in not in a confused way we need to hide this first and not not uh, you know worry about that right now so the first thing is that you know um, you need to decide do you want to apply for level one jobs or level three jobs or more advanced jobs because the more advanced you go the more advanced skills you're going to need if you land a level one job then i highly suggest that you should continue the wave uh, of learning from the portal so for example when you became a premium member you have access to our full courses that we provide uh, as a skill-based courses so the reason for that is that I'm, I'm kind of pushing back you towards these courses that if you are in this stage where you are not sure and you can land any job so for example you don't know too many advanced things then i highly recommend you start with the start your journey over here and then follow the program which is self start self-paced program then you may say okay these are videos and everything well these are videos but it it includes the labs from these practice labs that we will tell you to take 
So it makes more sense and more proper way of learning if you're doing step by step, like step one fundamental course, step two is a skills based technical course. So this is going to hit Active Directory, uh, Office 365 and any other technology in a more proper way of learning. So let's say step one to all the way step five, you're going to be feeling like level one or level two support engineer. Why? Because that's something we have covered in, in these courses, like what kind of labs you should be taking, where to take a partner. So all that videos are step by step provided to you if you follow from here. So how do you start this course? If you're feeling like, okay, let me start with this suggestion because I do lack the basics over here. I need to brush up on that. Then you will just click on go to course right here. And then you will click on, um, when you get to this course, you're going to click on start the fundamental course. And this is where uh, I tell people that to please be patient and then take this course fully because if you're skipping through videos and you're skipping some um, information that we're telling you how to do labs and things like that. So the first pieces of this course is just kind of like generic. What is this career about? You know, uh, um, I'm putting myself in your shoes kind of thing and I'm giving you ideas. I'm giving you infrastructure images, something that I'm making your mind ready for technology right now. Then after that, you're going to get into this A plus where we tell people that, hey, because you're a premium or plus member you can actually get to some of the external courses that we provide right here so you can actually get the theory done maybe some demos in there and then you get to the module one which is actually a video based on the labs so when you click on the module one over here this is actually coming from a direct lab over here which is a hands-on so that is the unique thing about job skills share than than other people that they may be doing these labs hands-on but there's no videos but we actually made videos on top of these uh, actual instructions and that's the one that's the rights that we have actually got from uh, practice lab so that's pretty cool so let's say for example you're like no i really want to stick to the more other things like active directory at the advanced level now what can i do in that area so in that sense you just have to disregard everything on the left side in the portal because um sorry in the portal right here because this is more of like i say a more proper procedure and process for someone to spend two to three months to do these kind of things but if you feel like no i really want to get started with some kind of active directory and server skills then you can straight jump into 7740 which is your installation storage and compute with windows 10 2016 to all the way to this course right here so you if if you finish all these three courses all these three courses are going to cover some of the things that you have mentioned in this area so let me open that uh, image again quickly there you go and so this is where you're going to cover Active Directory, some of the troubleshooting, Windows Server Operating System 2016. You don't need to worry about 2012. And then some of the configuration, stuff like that, um, but not the Windows PC, Mac. Uh, we don't have anything Mac level. And, and then you have these other things like Hyper-V that's also covered in that. So you see in just three labs, you have covered almost all of these things. ServiceNow can be covered through our ticketing system course. We don't cover ServiceNow as how it should be covered because that's a total different area of IT. So if you're very interested, so maybe you should look into some of the online videos from ServiceNow. For Mac, you probably looked into LinkedIn Learning. They're providing free, um, actually free uh, trainings online right now at this moment. So I'm not sure if that's going to be available in the future, but you probably can get some free stuff from LinkedIn. And Outlook 2016, if you want to learn about Outlook a little bit more, then we also have some Outlook, uh, you know, labs in Practice Lab. So you can actually come over here, click on the Outlook 2016 lab and finish that. So that's like I said in the beginning that that's not it for a advanced career. Because advanced careers will include some of the databases, some of the exchange stuff. So based on the description that you're looking at right now, you can come and pick and choose things. But for you to get started practically right now and you just need you, you want to like remove all of the, you know, uh, you know, like all of this chat or this whole, uh, you know, in your mind, there's so many things going on and you want to get just specifically uh, get to the target and you want to start that hands-on practice to to learn some advanced stuff then this is your first course right here 7740 now here's the beautiful part of our job skill share additional this is a new feature we haven't uh, kind of like added that into any membership we're not setting this a part of as a member but we're doing this on the side without announcing it too much we are already creating videos for this course, this course, and this course. So these two are already done. So if you want to utilize your membership, you can simply come over here, go to practice IT, learn with labs. And when you click on it over here, 
go all the way down and you can see now these are all the labs you can actually take and these are the videos that we have created on top of these uh, tasks so that's over 4,000 tasks right there so if you want to start you can actually start with this course that I just mentioned open the full screen right here your username and password will show up right here you can log in directly to your lab over here you can hide the left toggle like that and while you're doing that lab you can actually open the videos like that now that is gonna make your learning super fast why because did you didn't have this feature before like you would just go to the lab and you have to actually perform these labs hands-on and it takes time and that's why I tell people that even though it takes time you need to give that time but again sometimes people want to learn things quickly so this is where these videos are going to be very very super helpful because now you have an actual video of the tasks and that is where we feel very much different than other people that how we're, we're helping with skills and this is where why other platforms are starting using us because of the time that we have invested and then the manpower that we have invested in our platform over here so if you go to a dashboard you can actually come over here and watch how many videos we have created you can actually go to the find lab video and if you feel like you want to find a specific video about some something let's say wds which is more advanced stuff you can just search the wds it will pull up wds in which labs are we providing wds okay md100 have it if you go down uh, this server plus have it windows operating system fundamental have it so many different um, labs already have it so you already know where is this wds in, in the practice lab so you can come and actually take that from this lab so you can actually utilize both platforms for skills building it is very powerful right now what we are doing for our members because it's very easy to learn skills now and then if you want to learn more about Windows 10, let's say, for example, you came across a, a level one position or level two, and they're not talking about too much server stuff, then I think you should focus more on MD labs, MD 100 lab and when MD 101 lab. So here we go. It's, this is the MD 100, Windows 10, and then MD 101. Now, the beautiful part of our platform is that we're also giving you a full-blown video courses in your access so you can actually come over here and you can actually type 100 and actually get that course directly from our partner which you have access now md100 is right here you can click on the course right now and then there you go you got the full theoretical course as well so md100 md101 is also available in your partner portal access which you should be getting in your email as well so that's three different accesses job skill share with all this stuff that we're doing 200 plus courses that we're giving for theoretical learning and they also have demos in this uh, you know video courses and then the practical approach so after this if you're still stuck our my suggestion would be to right now to actually focus on the things that i have given to you maybe finish that add it into your skill set once you land a job i'm not talking about just you know applying to the jobs once you land a job you should send us another email and let us know what they are covering so then based on that uh, you know infrastructure we can give you a more targeted solution so you can grow in that job and thank you so much for becoming a member and i uh, hope you will take uh you know um this tips uh, beneficials if you still need some help let me know we'll continue our conversation with you thank you so much bye, -bye.